Hello everyone, this is Pamela from Design Wishes by Pamela here to share with you one of my most recent projects I just finished. It's a vintage telephone and a uh, mini album. And for this project, I use Graphic 45's Communique paper collection. It's a gorgeous paper collection, beautiful colors. I love the black with the red and the beige tones in it. I also use the chipboard elements and the sticker sheet for this project. So let me first talk to you about the vintage telephone. This phone is literally created with paper tube, that's what I used here, a uh, plastic drinking cup, disposable cup. This is also a plastic cup here. Um, all cardstock. So I hand made all the pieces that you see here. And as you can see, I made it so that the phone does, the dial does move. Um, this is also completely done with chipboard uh, as well in the uh, three dimensional kind of accents here on the phone and on the um, earpiece is also done with some three dimensional um, stacking of very thin cardstock. The profile of the the speaking part of the phone, this is actually the lid of the Dixie cup. So I'm really excited. And actually, I don't know if Dixie is the brand, but it's uh, like the little mini espresso cups that you can get. The bottom base of the um, project here is actually a Graphic 45 box um, where you get the um, tags in it. It was my first actual Graphic 45 box that I ever um, owned. I never bought one. I usually made my boxes. The element in the front here, the line, is a pull from Graphic 45. So how... Um, the box opens up for the mini album is, and let me bring the camera down just a little bit lower so you can see that. So the box opens, there's two magnets on each side of the front. What I did was I altered the box. Um, as you know, this lid flips up on the graphic, from the original box from Graphic 45. I cut the face of the box out and I put magnets on the side of the box and also um, in the cardboard wings that you, the chipboard wings that you see here so that when you put the box on it closes so you don't lose any of the integrity of the box because you opened up the front side of the box. And then when you um, take the box lid out it, it uh, houses a little mini album that I created. This album measures, um, oh gosh, it measures about six by six by four and a quarter. Six by four and a quarter and I think it's a two inch spine. Um, I kept the album pretty simple, not too much going on. This is some of the cut aparts right here. Let me see if I can also adjust my light a little bit. There's a glare. I'm not sure if that's any better. But um, there is a cut apart here. This is a chipboard element. I backed it with one of my flower punches here. Just some simple um, quarter inch black satin ribbon that I had in my ribbon uh, stash. This is part of the cut aparts here on the spine and then the simple back. And what I did was layered paper and then I made this a uh, black frame with cardstock on the front and the back. So when you open up the album, there are six pages in the album. The first page is using one of the cut um, the cutouts and I just made some banners. There is a pocket right here. And then the first page flips up each pocket page has a pocket in the front and I kept it very plain here and then it flips over and for this page there's one of the graphic 45 tags that came with the box and then this is one of the cutouts that I use and I just made a pocket here. The next page pretty much similar the way it opens up here I did an angled pocket 
and then I used one of the cutouts. I really think that's a really cute, it's like a little mini, mini, mini newspaper page. I, I really like that. I made a tag and there's the pocket here that's open. You can put a tag there and then the other side. And then the back, I did one of my punch pockets that I usually always do on my albums. For the next page, another angled pocket. I just made a little mini, a little mini uh, photo mat to go in there, and I added a black dot to um, so you could easily pull it out. And then on the back side, I made a pocket out of one of the postcard elements that that's in the um, paper collection, and I took some of the cut aparts and I just stuck them in there, and then I attached some ribbon to a little spiral clip that I had to hold this open. This this actually opens up. You can slide a photo in there or you can just open up. For the next uh, page, I put a magnet here. Oops, there's a little bit of glue there on that one. But I put a magnet in there and you can hold a um, photo mat here or, or whatever you like. And then there is a pocket. So that's a pocket right here. And then that flips open and then you have your other pocket page and then your plain uh, page here that you can add elements to or photos. And then this page has a pocket. There's another one of the graphic 45 tags. I used one of the sticker elements on this page here. Um, for this page, I did another punch pocket here and I took some tags and I used some of the numbers from the the sticker elements to put on those tags there and then you have another pocket just like the other one opens up here you could put a photo or a keepsake there and then again this is also a pocket as well and then the next page here there's your pocket I used one of the cut aparts there to put in the pocket I made a photo mat and then it opens up like that and then on the reverse side there is another pocket here a little tag love this paper collection and then here I did the punch slit so that you can put a vertical tag or photo in there and I used one of the chipboard elements here and just popped it up and added some ribbon. On the back cover, I took one of the cut apart hits here and I made it kind of like a slit pocket so you can just slide some tags in there. And that is the mini album that goes inside the box. And then again, to show you, all you need to do is just put that right back on there and that closes the box. For the feet, my sister gave me some mini um, bobbin thread spools, some really tiny um, thread spools, wooden thread spools, and I thought they would make really nice feet. So um, once again, I didn't talk about the receive the earpiece. So the earpiece is this is actually a straw, and then I used some of my jewelry wire and chipboard, very thin chipboard and um, make, to make the holder for the receiver part, and that's the receiver, and I put you know the holes that you can hear. And the cording was gifted to me by Daphne from Scrap and Create. I was at an event earlier in the year, and she had given me some of her leftover cording, so I don't know where exactly it came from. Thank you, Daphne, I found a different use for it. But this holds the receiver, um, or the earpiece of the phone um, really nicely. I totally love the way this project turned out. I, it gives me kind of a rustic vintage -y phone look and um, I'm just really excited to share it with you guys. So um, thanks for watching.